little shaky in the car. We are doing more of a vlog today, but there's still a drink thing involved. We are making micheladas, but we're making, I think, the Mexican style ones. The recipe I have calls for hot sauce, and I think that's how they do them in Mexico, because the michelada that we get in Colombia just has lime. But anyway, we are going to get limes now and some beer, and I also want to stop at Winners to pick up something else. And we'll go home, eat, and then make the micheladas, which we will show you how we make them and tell you how they turn out. And we're also doing like a um, a fun Q and A thing. We each have come up with questions to ask each other, so I'm excited. That'll be fun. Yeah. We are just leaving Winners. I'm sulky because I was gonna buy an eyeshadow and blush palette, and Carlos dropped it, so it broke. I'm so sorry. And now I feel bad because we like damaged their product and product and left it there. Um, like I kind of feel like we had to pay for it, but we just left it on the shelf. So you yeah. owe winners seventeen dollars. It was an accident. I just had to sneeze. I was just holding it in my hand. It was the only I one. Sneezed, like, just the top one just slipped off of that. But I got some other finds. I got Dr. Brand eye cream. I got, I'm gonna try this night and day serum because I need the new serum. Mine's running out. I just wanted to buy something kind of in the meantime before we go to Europe because I want to do a lot of like shopping in the French pharmacy. And I found a brush for a dry shampoo. Which is interesting because I just bought a dry shampoo yesterday which I didn't like so I want to take it back tomorrow. Um, from shoppers. It was the the cake Cake the do-gooder dry shampoo and I'm gonna try buying um, I just think like the Aussie dry shampoo or the herbal essences one any one of those two And Yeah, so now we're gonna get our beer and lime, beer and lime. It sounds Okay, so the beers aren't a hundred percent cold yet, so we're actually just gonna start our little q a here and then halfway through we'll go up and get the stuff to make the micheladas let's do it so this morning i was want, uh, listening to a podcast the extra pack of peanuts podcast and he had a guest on his show now i feel bad i can't remember her name let me have, uh, i'll have to look for it and put it in the description box oh with yeah i don't know <laughs> anyway <laughs> They were talking about her book she made. So she made this book, 501 Questions, and she asked Travis, the host of the podcast, four questions, all travel related, of course. When she was asking these questions, I was like, oh, well, this is fun. I want to ask Carlos these questions. So the way it works is there, there are four different categories. There's travel trivia. Uh, would you rather if you could and tell me about so then we had to make up our own questions mm -hmm. for this Q&A wait is it, is it all travel related yes oh. <laughs> oh I didn't plan for that oh so now you have to redo your questions well I didn't think about I just got an email from Sarah with these questions and I didn't know all of them had to be travel because only the first one was like mentioning travel yeah, I so think I, was, I wrote to you, like, travel-themed. Oh, okay, I, I guess you I didn't read it, it right. You didn't read it Yeah. Mm. Um, the theme is going to be travel, I said. Oh. Okay, well, do you want time to reformulate your question? Yeah, then? I want to think about okay. it. Okay. Because I don't want to just throw anything out there. I want to think a little bit about them. Carlos is still working on his questions, but I'm going to try, I hope I'm in the frame, I'm gonna try um, salting these rims. I tried doing salted rims once before. It was terrible. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just like wet the glass and now I'm gonna put it in this plate of salt. But yeah, this is not going well already, I can tell. How do you freaking salt a rim? Like, that doesn't it's look <laughs> good. I mean, it did, but it's not like even. What are we doing wrong? Along the glass. Look on mine. Oh, maybe it's a kind of salt. Maybe. Oh god, it's terrible! Or the glass isn't... You have to like wet it and then dip it right away. Like there can't be any wait time in between. No, no. It's just awful. There has to be a trick to it. 
Maybe you got that special dish. And then just like, is it like, oh, yeah, that's a bit better actually. That's, that one's not bad. That one's pretty good. I guess you just have to really like get it in there. That's not bad. It works. Okay. All right. Well, not the worst. Good enough, I guess. We got Corona beer to make the micheladas. I read an article that had like the 10 best beers to make micheladas with and Corona was number two. I can't remember which one was number one. I think it's because it's a beer that we don't have in Canada. Mm -hmm. Or not easy to find in Canada. So we did Corona. So, so it's going to be better than Aguila Light? No, probably not. Because <laughs> Aguila Light's like, that's the original for me. Okay, yep. let's... um. Yeah, let me finish right Let you finish and then we'll start making. Yeah. I also thought I would show a close-up of the hot sauce we got. It, my brother-in-law got this in a pack, so I'm not sure what the brand is, but it's Flaming Rain Lime Hot Sauce. And I think the hot sauce level is medium. All right. So the first time I had a michelada was in Colombia, and there they do it a salted rim, lime juice, and beer. But I found a recipe online, and I think it's I think I said this earlier. It's like the Mexican way with hot sauce, and it's basically you just do it, you eyeball it. So we're both gonna squeeze in some lime juice. Let's go. Some freshly squeezed lime juice. And Carlos, you're not gonna do the hot sauce, are you? Yeah, I don't trust the hot sauce. I think it's cool that this hot sauce is like. Lime flavored hot thing. sauce. Oh my gosh, Columbia, so we don't have a lot of hot stuff. No, we don't eat a lot of spicy food. Unlike the Mexicans. <laughs> Which is a big misconception because everyone, I think, everyone, what? all most North Americans think that South Americans, all the same, yeah. Latinos, they all like spicy food. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's it? I don't know how much yeah. I should put in. Oh, that seems a little. Should I put another wind? Uh, it's up to you. Maybe we don't have a lot of lime, but... Well, I'll see. Okay, that's probably enough hot sauce. I just kind of one and a half drops, maybe a little half drop more. Yeah. That's okay, that's probably way too much. <laughs> <laughs> probably way too much hot sauce in here. Oh god, I hope it's not ruined. It smells good. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Salud! Yeah, let's try it. Prost, man. Okay, it's not too spicy. Ooh. Yummy. Yeah. Good amount of lime. I don't know. Mmm. Actually, I could probably do a little more hot sauce next time. Ooh, why don't you put some now? I guess so. A little more picante. Woo! Mm. That's always nice. Lime and beer, so refreshing. Yeah. Oh, maybe because it's kind of stuck at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, stir it in. I'm gonna get a. I'm, okay, now it's gonna be really spicy. I'm gonna get a spoon to okay. stir it. <laughs> okay. I stirred it up, <laughs> but now I'm kind of nervous to try, try it. it again. Okay, I would definitely taste it, but it's not overwhelming. It's not too powerful. It's nice. Good. Oh, well, mm. let me try. Let's see how spicy it is. Oh my gosh, we haven't had a michelada in months. Mm hmm. So good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It reminds me of the Worcestershire sauce. Mmm, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Okay, let's um, let's start. So, do you want? I'll ask you first. Sure. So, my first question: It's the travel trivia. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I know. What is the smallest country in the world? That is the Vatican City. No, there's smaller. There's smaller countries now. 
It used to be the Vatican City. Now Wait, it's something like... My answer is the Vatican City. It is the Vatican City? <laughs> I mean, maybe... There's a lot of countries now. Oh, okay. Not according to the internet. <laughs> not according to Google. To Wikipedia? Yeah, there's like a... The, I forget the name. It's like an island out of Great Britain. Oh. It's a country? It, yeah, it's like a tiny thing. But it depends, like, what you mean by a country. Is it recognized okay. by the UN? A country? Or whatever. Okay. Well, anyway, Vatican City says Google. Okay, I have... So what's the... I have several questions, let's see. No! They're short questions. questions. Travel trivia? Yeah, Okay, okay, go. So what's the longest subway system in the world? Which city has the longest subway system? Tokyo. No. Really? Another guess, yeah. Well, then I want to say Beijing. No. I don't even know if they have a subway system there. They must have. I, I don't even know either. Well, I don't. If not Tokyo, I don't know. Seoul it is London. Oh, okay. I'm surprised. I I have, we haven't be been to time. London, so I don't know. Yeah. Well, we've been to the Tokyo. The longest or the deepest? Longest. Deepest is definitely in Russia. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> Those sure. things are so deep. It's like a kilometer deep. Fuck. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Okay, your next question. Another one. Uh, name a country where the thumbs up sign Greece is <laughs> no, is not a good sign. It, it's like uh, Greece. It is. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. That's what I learned in a movie once. Could be true because the oh okay. Turkey. Pretty sure not. Oh, so what is it? Uh, Iran. Iran. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Iran. Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. And some Western African countries. Right, right. Because like I you're read. shoving something up your butt. Yeah, that's why I think it's like that in Greece too. But could be. Maybe the movie was lying. Could okay, be what's nice. the next question? And the last question. What countries have the tallest people in in the world? The Netherlands. Netherlands number one. Try to try to figure out some other countries. Like Scandinavian countries: Norway, Sweden, Finland. Denmark's number two, but Sweden and Finland aren't there. And there has to be some African country in there. No? All Europeans. Okay, well, Germany, Netherlands, yeah. Denmark. Iceland. No. So it goes. You got you got the main one right, right? The yeah. Netherlands number one, that's the obvious one. Denmark number two, I didn't know. And Serbia is number three. Oh, and when we were yeah, in the Serbia, I was we like, oh my god, it's so, so tall. tall. <laughs> yeah, it makes well sense. that's why they're so tall. <laughs> yeah. well, okay. So tall. So number two, the second category is the would you rather. Mm -hmm. So my question for you is, what? would you rather redo our one year trip, like the exact thing, like all the same countries, all the same cities, mm -hmm. or live in a country for one year and you can't travel outside that country? Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Because on the one hand, if you stay in one country, you can really get to know and if it's big enough, it would be totally worth it, or if it's cool enough, like Japan, <laughs> it could be totally worth it. But our one year trip was pretty cool. <laughs> our one year trip was pretty fucking cool. But you have to revisit all the same countries, all the same it's cities. You like can't if, skip anything. If you I, can't. I were to take something now. Yeah, like so right now, tomorrow, now, tomorrow, are we going to move to a new country? Exactly the same, or go to one country? Yeah. Ooh, that's hard. Because it's like variety against doing the same again, which was awesome. But it's like variety because I would choose somewhere I haven't been. And if I choose a big country like China, it would be a lot of variety. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going... How about the US? Okay. <laughs> well, pick something. I would say stay one year in the country. I don't okay. know. Okay. Because I don't like revisiting. I like new, new stuff. But our trip was so cool. It was. Okay, what's your would you rather? Would you rather? These are like short ones, so. Okay. Two short ones. Would you rather right now go visit a mountainous region or to the beach? Um, like mountains, like we'd be hiking and camping. And like everything? picture, I don't know, Switzerland or Iran or China. No okay, beach. yeah, I'd rather go to the mountainous region. <laughs> or okay. the beach. No, we're not big beach people. Not really. Yeah, just Thailand. It's fun sometimes. Yeah. yeah Thailand. Okay. Like Did that. you have another would you rather? Uh, just another short one. 
Would you rather uh, go back to Japan or explore a new country? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd probably rather go back to Japan. <laughs> Take me too. <laughs> okay, the next question is a um, if you could. But I, can, I try to change it, so if you had, like, so if you could, if you had to vacation in the same country every year, which one would it be? Like, not that, not that this is the only country you can visit a year, but say you had to go back every single year to a country for a vacation, one week, two weeks, three weeks, what country would it be that you'd vacation to every year? Huh. You know, like, some people go to Mexico every year, right? Yeah, they do. I would have to say, I want to say, I have, I think I have two options. No, you can only choose one. Choose one? Okay. I would say, I think I would say Italy. Italia. Interesting. If I have to go back again and again and again, I think Italy would be just something I wouldn't get tired of. That would not be my choice, but okay. <laughs> Your turn. How about you? I'm interested in what you would choose. Oh gosh, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Um, I mean, weirdly enough, the first thing that comes to my mind is like Singapore. But like, wouldn't you get tired of Singapore? Um, I don't know if I had to keep going back to a country every year. I mean... I mean, the U.S. I think is a good choice because there's a good variety choice. in the yeah. U.S. So it's like you're going back to the same country every year, but there's so many different choices you're going back to. That's a good answer, yeah. Like you can do 50 years in a different state every year. So mm -hmm. I guess I would choose the U.S. Great answer. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, I haven't asked mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Okay. Uh, if you could visit a couch surfing friend tomorrow... Oh, I know, be? the one in Romania. The one in Romania who, uh, this I guess so the girl? <laughs> yeah. R Raluca. Raluca. Her. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, she was like Why? my best friend. I loved her. Yeah, you guys got along really well. Yeah. Romania's pretty awesome. Romanians are pretty cool. Yeah. Who, who would you invite? Hmm. Daiki? I was thinking Daiki. <laughs> that was our... Our coach surfing Our host. first couch surfing Kawa host, yeah. With his girlfriend. I was thinking, I was thinking Daiki. Or uh, maybe Singapore. I like the the young guy who stayed Tim. with Tim. Timothy. Timothy. Yeah, nice. I would, yeah, for sure. We had a lot of good hosts, I mean. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Okay, then the last one is tell me about dot dot dot. So... Tell me about your scariest travel moment. Scariest travel moment? Of your whole life, not even just like with me, of your entire life. I think that's pretty easy for me. Okay. Because I was traveling one day to Tairona. And there was this, we were just traveling. In Colombia. In Colombia, Tairona Beach National Park. It's our national park, not Beach National Park. And we had like, hike for like an hour, an hour and a half or something and I had like this big backpack with me, I was just walking and suddenly there was this like bridge <clears throat> with no rails Okay. and I'm walking in and there's like a donkey going that way I'm like, okay, I'll just move to the side, move to the side next to the freaking edge of the bridge there's like a fall, like a 20 meter fall and as I was walking by the donkey the fucking donkey fucking swayed Shut the and hell. hit me no way <laughs> and I, swear to god, I immediately reacted to like stop myself from like going further towards the edge i was like this like next to the edge oh my gosh i've never heard this story what a good question i asked yeah <laughs> i was really fucking scared because i had to fucking drop 10 20 meters or something like that i think i would have lived but still fuck was so scary oh my god <laughs> hmm. okay yours yeah. my question Tell me about the most memorable souvenir you've bought. Do you have any memorable souvenirs? <laughs> my, um... 
What's that? Oh my god, what is that brand called? It's a Korean brand. They have the lip sleeping mask. <laughs> and I bought in Hong Kong that I use every night. <laughs> I got it for a really good deal in a store in Hong Kong. Frick, what is... I gotta go get it right now. To show it. Talk while I go. Actually... In Hong Kong or in Singapore? Where did you get that one? I don't remember that one. Laneige. Mm -hmm. I was thinking snow. Something snow. This thing you it, got in Hong Kong? No, you, didn't you buy this year? No, this is the Laneige lip slipping mask. I got it in Hong Kong for such a good deal. Like, I don't know, this sells for like fucking like, I don't know, $20, $30, and I got it in Hong Kong for like $12. Hmm. <laughs> so that was the first thing that came to my mind. Um, it's the most memorable one. But. Apart from that, I, was, I would probably say like my Boots and Bags boots. Is oh, that a souvenir though? Like that shopping in Colombia. And this is like shopping. I don't know like what my most real souvenir would be, but- I do think those count. When I buy, when I like when yeah. we're in countries traveling shopping, I don't buy souvenirs. Like I buy daily life things that I want to use on a regular basis. I think they count, I think they count. Yeah. I like my boots and bags. Smart bag. souvenirs, not the thing my you purse. just store in the closet and never see ever again. Yeah. Things you like, things you use. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh! No, I know, I know. Because it's an actual souvenir. <laughs> and I still use it all the time. My um, beer cups from Russia. Oh, nice. From the World Cup, when you bought a beer, you got this like big plastic red or green cup that had like the the Cyrillic writing on it and the World Cup picture and I have it at work and I use it every day with, for my water. Oh, nice. So that is my best souvenir. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's it. That's it. I, I had a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I hope you had fun watching it. And we'll see you in the next video. Ciao, Bye. ciao. Ciao, ciao.